Hello students, uh, this is my first video on a paper called HTML and JSP and it's a fifth semester BSc paper for uh, the computer science students. Okay, first we'll see about the course the contents then uh, we will go for. The course contents are, uh, it, it may be divided into four units. The unit one is meant for the HTML and unit two is meant for JDBC. Uh, that is Java, Java database connectivity and the third unit is meant for the server programming and the fourth unit is JSP. So the unit 3 and the unit 4 is meant for the uh, dynamic web designing and uh, second unit JDBC meant for the database connect connections using Java. So we need a prerequisite to do all those things so that is an HTML. So we are covering the basic concepts of HTML in the uh, first unit. Uh, so in the first unit, uh, what are the different tasks or different concepts we are learning here? So the basic concepts of an HTML. So as you can see in the slide, what are the uh, the basic things I want to cover in this unit? So first uh, is an introduction about an HTML. Then I will go for the basic structure of an HTML page. Then we are uh, discussing the different types of tags which are there in an HTML like text formatting tags or list or images or the marquee tags or table frames etc. We are discussing only the basic tags uh, of uh, HTML and we are not touching with other tools like you know, CSS or the JavaScripts. We are uh, discussing only the sum of the tags which are used in HTML. Okay, we'll start with an introduction. So, HTML is meant for hypertext markup language. So, it is meant uh, that is uh, uh, the meaning of HTML is in the hypertext that in the sense the pages or the text are linked to an another location that means in hypertext and markup language it is a language which is used to uh, design the web pages and it is it was introduced by the Tim Berner Lee in the year 1991 and uh, which, which, which evolved so many versions and uh, now the present version of HTML is in HTML5. Uh, let's see uh, what is the uh, purpose of learning this HTML. So by learning this HTML as I told which are used to design the web pages or the basic structure of all the web pages all the all the websites now we can see is uh, designed by using an HTML language itself and also obviously which is used to create uh, the websites and if you want to become a good web uh, web designer so you have to learn the HTML language it is a basic language and along with that you can learn the CSS or you can learn the JavaScripts and if you go for uh, the dynamic web pages like uh, then you may learn the uh, no JSP or uh, servlets or maybe a PHP. So the basic thing you must know the HTML language and also which helps the HTML which helps uh, to understand the web that in the sense once you uh, designed a website and later you want to host it or uh, uh, you have to link with the, uh, the search engines uh, even there also you have to use some of the HTML tags and also if you want to learn other web languages like PHP or JSP or even the Python, you must know the HTML language. So it is a prerequisite right, for all the web applications now you can see. So what are the prerequisites you want, you must uh, use to learn the HTML. First, first thing is you must have a text editor like Notepad or Notepad++ or Edit++. So I prefer and I am using a Notepad++ as later I will do the demonstration how we can use the uh, Notepad++ and also you must have a, a compatible web browser. So maybe you may go for Internet Explorer or you may go for uh, the Mozilla Firefox or the Google Chrome and if I am using the Windows platform. And you must know about how to create the directories and how to create the files in your system. Then also you must know how to navigate the files in the different directories and also you must know how to save the files and the basic things how to save the files for because our uh, HTML pages uh, pages should have an extension of .html. So later, later in a later session we will see how to do all those things and also you must understand some of the image formats like a JPEG or PNG or uh, 
GIF formats, you must know what are the different uh, images and the, uh, the different formats of images. These are the some of the prerequisites you must uh, have. The basically, we need only a text editor and a browser, so you may easily work with the HTML language. So, in HTML, we'll start the introductory part of the HTML. So, HTML is meant for, uh, which are used to format the text on the web page. So, this language is meant for, it contains a set of uh, elements we call an HTML tags. So, HTML tags are just like in keywords where we have for the other programming languages, which is used to define uh, the, the formatting of a particular uh, content, which are enclosed. So, if you want to use a uh, the tags in your HTML, there is some rule you should use. So, HTML tag must contain three main parts as you can see in the slide. It should contain an opening tag and you should place the content and it is end with the closing tag. And uh, there is some notes you have to remember that is some of the HTML tags which will not have the uh, closing tags that normally we call, call as an unclosed tags. For example, like if you want to start a paragraph, we are using a tag as p. So, uh, no need of closing that paragraph. Once you start the next paragraph, directly you can start with the p. And also, there is a one more tag called as br, break tag. So, that is to come to the new line or you have to come to the next line. So, no need of using the closing tag for that. And for example, like if you want to place a heading, you are using a tag as an h1. Okay, so h1, once you start the heading and the, start, the heading should be closed with the closing tag. So, all the HTML tags should, uh, should be placed within the angle brackets and opening angle bracket and the closing angle bracket and the closing tag should be enclosed with the opening angle bracket, a slash followed by the tag and end with the closing angle bracket. Let us see the basic structure of a HTML page. So, basically it contains uh, the sum of the uh, basic tags like HTML, head, title, body. So, these are the basic tags you should include in, in an each and every web page. So, HTML defines that is you are using an HTML and everything should be included in the web page, Play, should be placed be, between HTML and the close HTML as you can see in the slide. So, HTML and followed by the head tag and uh, uh, this contains uh, in a head, a head tag so, you normally you can place the title of your web page and also the some of the scripting if you want to add that and all you can place it over the, um, the header tag and in the body tag the actual content that to be display, displayed on the web page that you have to place it over in the body tag and uh, so all the tags are the uh, once you, you open HTML that should be closed and you should uh, properly nesting you have to properly nest the tags like you know you have to use an HTML in the beginning then you can start the head tag and within the head tag you should use the title tag then after closing the body tag you should uh, uh, use the uh, after closing the head tag you should use the body tag then you have to close the body tag and finally you should close the HTML tag. Thank you.